மாஸ் கீழப்பாவூர் ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு மாஸ் கீழப்பாவூர் சேனல் ஐ எம் டாக்டர் அருணா சண்முகவேல் லெட் எஸ் சி எ மோட்டிவேஷனல் கோட் ட்ரை டு பி எ ரெயின்போ இன் சம் ஒன்ஸ் கிளவுட் In this video, we are going to learn about condylar and basilar parts of occipital bone and also variants seen in the occipital bone. The condylar part is situated by the side of foramen magnum. It consists of condylar part proper and jugular process. The condylar part proper has two kidney shaped projections on the inferior surface called occipital condyles. These condyles articulate with superior articular facet of atlas forming the atlanto occipital joint. Above and medial to occipital condyle that is at the junction of fusion between basilar part and occipital condyle hypoglossal canal is present the structures passing through the hypoglossal canal are hypoglossal nerve meningeal branch of first cervical segment its ventral ramus meningeal branch of ascending pharyngeal artery emissary vein connecting basilar venous plexus with pharyngeal plexus of veins The superior surface of the condylar part presents a grooved smooth elevation called jugular tubercle. It is grooved by 9th, 10th and 11th cranial nerves. The medial surface of occipital condyle gives attachment to the alar ligament. Posterior to the condyle there is a depression called condylar fossa. If it shows a perforation it is called posterior condylar canal through which emissary vein passes that connects sigmoid sinus with the suboccipital venous plexus jugular process is present lateral to the condylar process its anterior margin is jugular notch which forms jugular foramen with similar notch of peters part of temporal bone the jugular process is homologous with the transverse process of vertebra the superior surface of jugular process has sigmoid sulcus for enlarging sigmoid sinus the inferior surface of jugular process gives insertion to rectus capitis lateralis muscle shall we move on to the basilar part of occipital bone right it is present in front of foramen magnum and called basi occiput it has three surfaces and two lateral borders the surfaces are anterior superior and inferior the anterior surface articulates with body of sphenoid bone and this joint is synchondrosis after the age of 25 ossification takes place and the joint becomes synostosis the superior surface forms a slope called clivus clivus is related to lower part of pons upper part of medulla vertebral arteries basilar artery basilar plexus of veins the inferior surface of basilar part shows pharyngeal tubercle 1 cm in front of anterior margin of foramen magnum this tubercle gives attachment to median raphe of pharynx and superior constrictor of pharynx lateral to the pharyngeal tubercle longus capitis muscle is inserted anterior to the occipital condyle rectus capitis anterior muscle is attached to the basilar part the lateral borders in their upper surface are related to inferior petrosal sinus the lateral borders form petro occipital suture by articulating with petrous part of temporal bone the foramen magnum is the largest opening in the occipital bone it communicates the posterior cranial fossa with the vertebral canal the midpoint of anterior margin of foramen magnum is known as basion the foramen magnum is divided into anterior and posterior compartments by the attachment of alar ligaments 
the structures passing through the anterior compartment of foramen magnum are apical ligament which is a remnant of notochord upper band of cruciate ligament membrana tectoria which is the upward continuation of posterior longitudinal ligament the structures passing through the posterior compartment of foramen magnum are lower part of medulla oblongata to become the spinal cord meninges and cerebrospinal fluid lower part of the tonsil of cerebellum right and left vertebral arteries anterior spinal artery right and left posterior spinal arteries spinal accessory nerve sympathetic plexus around the blood vessels veins accompanying the arteries leave the cranial cavity the first teeth of ligamentum denticulatum the anterior and posterior borders of foramen magnum give attachment to anterior and posterior atlanto occipital membranes respectively the variations present in the occipital bone are sutural bones or vermian bones that may be situated along the lambdoid suture they represent the intraparietal bone sometimes there may be a downward extension of the jugular process towards the transverse process of atlas this extension is called as paramastoid process the fusion of atlas with the occipital condyles is known as occipitalization in the next video let us learn the ossification and applied anatomy of occipital bone shall we wind up the session with a quote we must accept finite disappointment but never lose infinite hope thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon select all to get instant notification mm -hmm.